Hey guys, welcome back to Jersey Shore Beers and Brews Reviews. Next review of the day, it's Friday night. I think we said that in the last one. Oh, I want to give you a heads up, that Sam Adams Chocolate Bock, I think that you could drink that beer all night. It, it doesn't come in sweet, um, just comes in with, man, just a great chocolate flavor. Just good stuff. So this one is, uh, is a pumpkin ale. It's actually a double pumpkin, or I should say an imperial pumpkin. And that's the label that I was talking about that caught my eye. So once I seen the label, I was like, yep, gotta do it. It's by Flying Monkeys Craft Brewery. And uh, it's an Imperial Pumpkin Ale, comes in at 10%, brewed in Canada. And the label is just full of stuff to read, almost like your cereal boxes back when you were a kid. You know, you start looking at this thing, it says, uh, the cult of pumpkin, pouring with an outwardly orange glow, the subtle blend of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice swirl in the metaphysical balance of the spirited imperial body of this 10% alcohol by volume beer. Brewed with roasted pumpkin and spices, Paranormal's rich mouthfeel and slightly hazy body emerge from a realm where the substance and shadow cross. Extra strong beer, Flying Monkey Craft Brewery, Barry, Ontario, Canada, Earth, Milky Way, the Universe, Infinity. It says, uh, it's beer, doused with exotic warm spices, the spirited imperial pumpkin ale evokes the arrows of pumpkin pie, graham cracker crust, and the toasty aura of autumn. They went out on the, on the label, there's no doubt about that. It says paranormal is weird, special edition. So let's crack it open and uh, let's get this baby flowing. So we, uh, looks like it's carbonated perfect. It's not overfilling. Pours out a orange, orange red. Seems like it's well carbonated. Got a big old head developing on that thing. Looks like it's clear. So I'm going to say that it's filtered. I don't see anything on here saying that it's not. Normally they like to put that on there so that you're not alarmed by the pieces that are floating around in your beer. You know the swamp water. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. I'm going out with Randy tomorrow. We're heading up to Asbury Park. We're gonna do some flying up there. Convention Center and a couple other things up there. The Stone Pony uh, with the drones at night. I'm gonna do some nighttime photography up there. Should be pretty cool. Head has a lot of body to it. It pours outside of the glass with no problem. Nice and frothy. Staying power. See what it smells like. Oh, you can definitely smell the spicing. The nutmegs, the cinnamons, the allspice. Oh, pumpkin pie in your face. Looks good. Looks good. Let's see. Uh, Paranormal Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Let's see what you got, buddy. Ooh. Wow. That is a lot of spicing in it. Heavy duty spicing. Whoa, heavy duty. I think it's a little too much, unfortunately. Um, I mean, if that's your thing, and you really love those spices, that's the beer for you. But me, I like to see a balance there. Uh, this is jam packed with flavor, like way overboard. I get it, it's 10%. You know, you gotta put some flavor in there, but I think that this is overkill by a lot. And don't get me wrong, if you put it in the line of beers that are pumpkin beers, you'd be like, that one tastes the most, because it definitely has the most taste. Um, I will not be buying that again. I'm not going to put them in the sixes. Because, hey, at least the label's good, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to put them in a flat seven. That beer's going to come in a flat seven. I'm just going to give it one more taste just to make sure. But Whew. Remember the one, the video that I did that had the, like, the flames coming out when you... Yeah, that's the way this is except with pumpkin spice, way overkill, way, way, way overkill. Um, 
So that's a review, guys. 7.0. I I probably wouldn't recommend that you go get it. If your buddy's got it and you want to put your hands on it, you want to taste it just to back me up on it, feel free to do so, but don't say, I didn't warn you. <laughs> All right? Be good, guys. If you're drinking, like I said, be safe out there. I want to see you back here next week. All right? Peace.